Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is the Minnesota Silver Roll Hunter here. Today we're going to be talking about the 1965 Kennedy Half Dollar, so let's get down to it. Quick, quick look at silver clad Kennedy Half Dollar circulation strikes. Talk about an underachieved series uh, or underappreciated series. The silver clad Kennedy ha Half Dollar has always played second fiddle to its one off 1964 and 1964 D 90% silver counterpart parts. And while roll hunters enjoy finding these 40% silver pieces with their current interestic value of just over $4 scattered among bankrolls, the real excitement comes from studying and collecting the important and oft neglected series of mid century American coinage. No write up on the Kennedy half is complete without a description of the circumstances surrounding its creation. We'll spare you the drama over an effort to get the slain president's likeness on a coin as soon as possible. But we will say that the timing of the coin's release couldn't have been worse, considering the, the transition away from circulating silver that was going on at the time. Needless to say, public shock and heartbreak surrounding the Kennedy assassination led to public to save the coin as a memento. Silver spe speculators, it seems, claimed much of what was left. The decision to continue production with a uh, debased silver composition while every other circulation coin was fully debased, all but snuffed out any chance that the coin would service as a circulatory medium. Still, the government... <clears throat> did not make an effort to get these coins into the stream of commerce and it only now due to elevated prices of precious metals that we see a fuller appreciation and understanding of them okay the six five half dollar Kennedy half dollars 40 percent silver composition they minted uh, minted 65 million eight hundred seventy nine thousand three hundred sixty six of them minted at Philadelphia designer and engraver Gilroy Roberts metal composition I already said 40% silver but it's 60% copper too diameter 30.6 millimeters mass weight is 11.5 grams okay metal content is uh, 0.1479 troy ounces face value of the coins 50 cents and it was issued 1965 with the silver prices rising and the astronomical levels back in 65 it was becoming cost effective for the United States to mint coins and silver so after much uh, debatable the US Treasury approved minting of the half dollar and 40 percent silver composition the dime quarter were minted in copper nickel clad with silver completely removed from those coins there was another coin related issue facing the US government that year and that was the growing coin sh shortage which was partly to blame on silver's hoarding however the US Treasury also held coin collectors responsible in general who were removing coins based on their mint marks to fill coin albums and books based on date and mint mark series collecting the US government therefore deemed it fit to remove mint marks from coins altogether in the effort to stave off coin hoarding as further punishment to coin collectors u.s mint stopped producing proof sets and conventional mint sets that year instead of offering a so-called special mint set that includes one coin from each denomination each special mint set sms coin features a semi mirror like finish with some being a little more lustrous and reflective than others Uncirculated 1965 Kennedy half dollars are worth about four dollars each, while SMS 1965 half dollars are worth around five. Okay, so that's the front of the 1965 Kennedy half dollar, and that's the back of it. I don't know. It's one I like this coin. It's one of my favorite top five. Okay, thanks a lot. If you like my video, please subscribe. Subscribe, please thumbs up, and please share. And thank you for so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And thank you, and have a good day. Bye bye.